All right, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about theory now. Um, I'm going to do a little demonstration and then explain. So I got one of these pendulums going, one of the pen controls. Not too big. All right, now we're going to put the pen down. And we're going to move the table at a constant rate. Alright, so here's what we just did. Um, add two of them actually. And you can see with one pendulum you trace out a sine wave as the paper moves by. And these would look better if you could pull it at a constant rate. Um, and each pendulum creates its own unique sine wave. And it's the combination of the four unique sine waves in two different directions that gives you such interesting pictures. Okay, so another cool thing about harmonographs is that they are unique. Um, in practical terms you can never reproduce the same one twice. And to a certain extent you don't really know what you're going to get when you start. Um, on the machine I've been showing you each pendulum arm has seven locations to put weights. So um, the amount, the number of total permutations, I guess, that you can arrange the weights is 7 to the 4th, which is 2,401 different ways. Now, that's for one weight. If you consider that you have, say, four weights on each, each with discrete locations, that would be the permutation of uh, 7 choose 4, which is 840, and then on four pendulums, you get that, which is basically 500 times 10 to the ninth. So you can see how, um, even with the discrete locations, you get an extreme amount of different weight placements. Um, but also, the phase you start in is a continuous distribution. There's not discrete locations on that. So you truly have an infinite number of possibilities. <laughs> If you're interested in the um, math behind this, or the physics, or why it draws sine waves, um, well, <laughs> I can't really explain that. Um, basically, it's from the dynamics of the pendulums, um, which involves a second order differential equation. But I'm not going to drive that for you, because I don't know how, and um, it would take a while. But there are people that, there are people that have and you can look that up. Um, on a modeling note, these are a great thing to model if you have computer experience. There's an Excel program you can download that models these, which has inputs of you know phase, frequency, amplitude, and damping effect. I think there's a MATLAB program too. Um, I didn't get that one to work, but you know I have the real thing, so. And it's always a little different um, with the real thing. All right, so I'm not going to talk a ton about theory. Um, I'm not a mathematician, so I can't really talk about um, these complex combinations that much. Um, I've already talked about phase, frequency, and amplitude and how they relate to your drawing. That's video two, if, you're, if you haven't seen that. Um, <clears throat> and it's interesting that those things are just the identifying characteristics of a sine wave and um, the combination of the sine waves is what actually draws your drawing. I guess on a final note, it's, um, it's interesting to me that you can't reproduce a drawing and that you don't know what you're going to get and that they're all unique and I think that's pretty cool. Um, and I guess it's like the the search to find the perfect drawing. This You can almost always find a problem with every single one you do. Sometimes you'll get really good ones, but you see the faults and you want to keep going to get that perfect image. And I think that's a good motivating factor in doing these. Um,
All right, so I guess this is kind of it. Um, I think I've hit everything. Covered the basics, showed you the machine, gave you some build details. Uh, again, I'll link to some useful pages that I found helpful. If you guys um, make one of these or have questions, feel free to contact me. Um, I kind of specifically didn't give you too much build information so you guys can go and innovate. If you take on one of these projects, you probably know what you're doing. So um, innovate, have fun. Let me know what you did differently so I can benefit from you as well. Um, and I guess that's pretty much it. But uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. If you guys have anything else you want to see specifically, you can ask me and I might do it if I'm home. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.